Hi, welcome to the lesson. I was just having a little fun there and I wanted you to check out what I was doing with my left hand because that's what we're going to be talking about today, the left hand. Okay, now you might have realized or might have understood and checked out the fact that I was trying to show you how I was sliding a lot up and down the neck. Okay, now what I mean by sliding up and down the neck is I was, I was basically playing in minor pentatonic for the most part. I added some other things in there, but what I was trying to show you that I was doing a lot was kind of moving along strings to create a certain kind of sound. Okay, I just like the sound of that and I think it really dresses up a lot of scales and melodies and any kind of phrasing that you want to do. I think it really enhances your sound and that's what's so great about the guitar. We've talked about that. You can play something really simple. And you can just use a slide to create the sound. Right? That's basically just a pentatonic scale. But because of the way that I'm using slides, it makes it a little bit more, it has a little bit more attitude. Right? Just going up. You gotta admit, that sounds a little bit more interesting than just staying. Same, you know, basically just staying up in a pattern and then moving up to the high note. So I wanted to talk about that today. Okay, so looking looking behind me, you can see what I've written out here is this, is basically a, a lick that is mostly just a minor pentatonic scale. But I wanted to show you how I incorporate slides to make it a little bit more interesting. And there's a lot of different ways I could put in slides. Okay, so I'm going to start off here just playing in you know the only place I could really play the note is basically the third fret of the low E string. And, uh, and I'm just gonna write in some positions here. So let's play that just simply like this. Right, and then I'm gonna skip over and I'm gonna play this on the third fret of the D string and the fifth fret of the D string. So I'll have this. Okay, so I'm basically in staying in one position right now. I'm gonna jump up and, and play the B flat note. What I'm doing is filling in the tab, as you can see. Okay, I'm gonna play the, the B flat on the third string, but then I'm gonna hit the C, but you can see right here, I'm gonna put a slide in, so I'll hit this, and then I'll slide into the seventh fret, so I'll go. Okay, so there's my first slide, and then I'm gonna play the F on the sixth fret of the B string. So, um, and then I'm going to slide the B flat. Here's going to this is going to be a big slide right here. I'm going to slide from the G right here. I'm going to slide all the way up to the 11th fret to get that happening. Okay? Did I do that right? Oop. I'm sorry. Let me correct myself here. I actually meant to go six, eight, and then slide that way. So let me fix that. Okay. So now I've got this. Let's do that again. Okay, now look at the way that I'm using my fingers to make these shifts here. First off, I play pretty conventionally in G minor pentatonic, just going one, four, one, three, one, three. I keep my third finger on the C as I slide into the D. 
But then I use my first finger on the F here because I got to get ready to make a big slide here with my, th my third finger. Okay, so if I wasn't careful, I might have done it like this. And use my second finger. But I don't know if that would have worked out as well because then I would have had to play, what, my fourth finger here and slide up. It's possible, but it just doesn't feel like it would work as well. So I'm going to do it like this. So. Okay, so let me finish it off here. Uh, so we're ending on the 11th fret, the B flat. I'm going to play the C right here at the 8th fret, D at the 10th. And then I'm going to grab the F with my fourth finger and slide that into the G, the 15th fret. Okay. Hey, that guy looks familiar. Okay, so let's see how this works out. Okay, notice on that last part, after I got it to the, to the 11th fret, I had to stretch out a little bit to get up to the F so I could slide that last note. Okay, so that's got to you got to be uh, efficient with your technique here. Okay, so you're really learning how to combine pentatonic scales when you do this, okay? Because remember, we're playing, started off playing pentatonic down here. And essentially, we're, what we're doing is sliding through other pentatonic positions. We've slid through this po position, this position, this position right here all the way up to the top. So we've, we've gone all the way from this octave to this octave, sliding through positions of pentatonic. But that's what makes something like this sound kind of cool, is the slides. So it's good practice. And once you get the hang of it, and you get the technique down, you can really improvise this kind of stuff more spontaneously, just on the spot. So let's, let's try this again. Here we go. Three and four and... Okay, so let's work that out again slowly. Three and four and. Okay, so the slides are just, I just think there are. You start messing around with different ways to slide just one position up, you can start to get a lot more um, impact with your pentatonics. I like to slide up to the D here and then skip over a string and grab one of the other notes in the upper string. So I might go. Right? Or maybe. That's the same thing as playing. Just a different kind of a sound. and it sounds good every time. Okay, so the, the, I guess the introduction could be to this technique is to just work, work up patterns that are right next to each other. Okay, so if I were going to be, let's say, out of this position, between these two positions, maybe I'd, I'd practice going from this position. And then I go up to this position right next to it and see what I could work out for slides there. See, so there's pentatonic here. Oh. And here's another one right here. And there's just so many different ways I can. Pentatonic notes, but doesn't it sound so much cooler with those slides in there? <laughs>